Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to today's podcast episode powered by Simply Islam. First of all, um, I hope that everyone listening to this are doing well and slowly welcoming and adapting to your new routines this month, inshallah. Now, subhanallah, we are greeted yet again by the beautiful month of Ramadan, fully able to indulge in its blessings, alhamdulillah. And for this fact alone, I think we should be grateful we are given another chance to prove ourselves worthy and hopefully raise our ranks in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, as Muslims, Ramadan is a very significant part of us. And we try to welcome the month by making changes to our lifestyles and incorporating habits that we normally overlook or habits that we don't normally do. So naturally, there's a lot of preparation going on which can make us anxious. Because indeed, it is very essential that we prepare ourselves and our children for this special time of the year. Which is why, inshallah, in this episode, we'll discuss about how to prepare children for Ramadan and help them understand the importance of this month, the significance of it. I hope that um, this can sort of give you an anchor on what to do and what to expect when trying to involve your children this Ramadan. Because being a parent myself, I understand that subhanAllah, it can get intimidating planning your first Ramadan with young children in tow while trying to maximize what you can do to reap the most benefit in the holy month. Not just for you, but because you're thinking about your entire family. And to be very honest, it's not a very easy task. And if you're feeling anxious, please know that you're not alone in this and that Allah sees your intentions, inshallah. May Allah guide us all, inshallah, and make us His worthy servants. Now, let's begin. I guess the foundation to this is probably, firstly, to educate our children about the concepts and fundamentals of Ramadan. So the first step in preparing children for Ramadan is to educate them about the significance of this month. Children need to know that Ramadan is a time when Muslims around the world fast from dawn until sunset to gain spiritual strength and to purify their souls and at the same time to increase their piety towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think it's very important that they understand that Fasting is not just a physical experience, but rather a spiritual journey that is supposed to bring us closer to our Creator, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a good training ground for us to do lots of reflections and improve on ourselves. And in Arabic, this is actually called Tazkiyah to Nafs. I've actually heard of some parents going out of their way um, to prepare their children for Ramadan by getting them involved in the fast they are sunnah. So maybe this is another tip that you can um, consider. So the reason why they do that is actually to give them their children a quick glance of what Ramadan can be. And it, it can actually be sort of a mock or trial mode for them before they commit to the full Ramadan, mashallah. Isn't that amazing? So, practicing Ramadan can be done in in partial. So, meaning um, we can actually introduce fasting in shorter periods to ensure that we don't go too hard on our children and (laughs) scare them away from Ramadan. Because remember, um, this practice shouldn't be the reason that children come to hate fasting. Because the main goal here is to actually instill love for fasting in them. So be careful not to go overboard, especially for children at a very, very young age. I think in, um, in, in Islam, we, all, we are also um, asked to practice wisdom and also to practice um, ihsan. So as parents, we've got to learn to also be able to judge accordingly. And if the children exhibit uh, signs that they're not prepared, we should be able to be receptive to it and to understand them accordingly. Now, point number two actually relates to um, the points that I've already mentioned above. I just like to highlight Habib Umar's tips when training children for Ramadan because he says, 
well, it is very commendable to um to actually encourage children to fast during Ramadan. It is also essential to introduce fasting in stages. So this is something that some of us might overlook. We forgot we forget that um Islam does not encourage compulsion. So fasting in stages is a, actually a very encouraged practice. Habib Umar is a very prominent Islamic scholar and he advises parents to encourage children uh, and, and, and begin encouraging them to fast for a few hours a day and then gradually increasing the duration as they become more comfortable with the fast. So this approach actually helps children build their stamina and endurance and prepare for the full day of actual fasting during Ramadan. Um, point number three is related to example setting. So as parents, I think it's very important that we first set the bar and set good examples for our children and we, that we should embody um, the practices of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and be able to exhibit um, his good manners and adopt whatever we're supposed to um, in this month of Ramadan. So humans are actually innate to learning through observation, right? So the same applies to children. They learn by example and as parents, we need to set a good example by observing fasts and engaging in acts of worship during Ramadan. So this naturally includes praying, reading the Quran, giving charity, and then engaging our children with it. Discuss about it, reason with them, tell them why it's good and why it's needed. And, and if they have questions, try to engage, not, not to, just to dismiss and rebut. So while children see their parents actively participating in Ramadan, inshallah, they are more likely to follow in our footsteps because they observe that um, it's it's something that their parents do and it and and it's easier for them to adopt these practices. Now, point number four: children love things that are fun, so you gotta make fasting enjoyable. Fasting can actually be a very challenging experience, even for adults. So, especially for children who are not actually used to it. So, to make fasting enjoyable for children, parents can involve them in the preparation of sahur and iftar meals, for example. Um, you can also plan fun activities during the day, maybe crafts, uh, decorate the house. Uh, that's what I like to do with my daughter. Um, put up lights during Ramadan and then encourage them to read and learn more about Ramadan. You can buy books about Ramadan to introduce them and then get them excited about Ramadan. Read them books before bedtime and introduce them to the concepts of Ramadan. Children loves participating. So you can get them to help you out in the kitchen, make snacks um, uh, for sahur um, and then even for iftar so that they feel that they are part of it and that they feel included and most importantly celebrated. We, we should also prioritize what they want to eat during um, the break, the breaking of the fast. It's so important to make them feel the love and the joy of fasting through these practices. And as parents, our role is to make them see that fasting is not a chore, but rather can actually be an activity that they can enjoy, participate in, and benefit from. The next point is on focusing on spiritual development. In Ramadan, it is not just about abstaining or refraining ourselves from food and drink. The core spirit of it is in spiritual improvement and connection to Allah. Parents can encourage their children to engage in acts of worship such as reading the Quran, making dua and performing additional prayers. I mean, this can get rather mundane for children, especially if they're not familiar um, with these kinds of practice practices or, or if it is not a very familiar habit to begin with. 
which is why it is very important to do it together as a family so that these practices can be seen as a family activity which can be encouraging to children. And remember, small practices goes a very long way. You can start by introducing a line or a rule in the Quran. If they're doing ikra, maybe just a huruf or two. And make sure to make them feel celebrated when they ac- accomplish something. Let them know that Allah loves it when they do this and that they will be rewarded in Jannah for it, inshaAllah. It is very important that they see acts of worship as Allah's mercy to mankind. As parents, we must shape children's perspectives in a way that lets them see God as a source of goodness, not a being that is fierce and punishing. Now, this is definitely a lot of work, but it is so worth it, inshallah. So this helps children understand the purpose of Ramadan and inshallah, um, develop a deeper connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next point is about teaching the importance of giving, which is sadaqah, charity. One of the essential aspects of Ramadan is giving to those in need. Um, parents can teach their children the importance of giving by involving them in charitable activities, such as donating to a food bank or vol- volunteering at a mosque even. Even at home, you can get creative and get your children to make a mini uh, donation box. Uh, make it in any shapes that you want, a cup, a masjid, or whatever it is that your children likes. Get them excited to put in the money. Tell them stories of people who are going through hardships in other countries. Tell them stories who, of people who has it worse than, than you are. Let them know that every little help that they do is very meaningful and focus more on the narrative of compassion as Muslims, right? So this helps children develop empathy and compassion towards those in need and actually instill value of generosity in them, inshallah. It would be really nice if we can actually establish the idea that Muslims are one ummah. We are a community that helps each other. So, so we try to lend our hand to anyone that actually needs more. And we want to try our best as an individual to take away all the sufferings or part of the sufferings that other people has or other people are facing. So to conclude, Preparing children for Ramadan requires immense patience, planning, and most importantly, willingness to involve them in the process, which can be very tedious and long. So just to recap, this can be done by educating them about the significance of Ramadan. Firstly, introducing fasting in stages, setting good example as parents, making fasting enjoyable, focusing on spiritual development, and then teaching them the importance of giving or charity in the month of Ramadan. As human beings, we know that we are limited in capability, but we know that we can try to definitely do what we can and play our part as parents so that we can hold our children's hand and help our children understand the beauty of Ramadan and make the most of this blessed one, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we've come to the end. Um, I hope that you found this podcast helpful, inshallah. And may Allah bless us all with a very fruitful and rewarding Ramadan. Ramadan Kareem, everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See you guys, inshallah, again for the next episode.